It's BBM and it's on Android. I'm Aaron Baker from PhoneZog.com and one of BlackBerry's most popular software tools is now available on Android and on iOS. Let's take a look and see how it's changed from the version you get in BlackBerry 10. So let's say you moved from a BlackBerry device a few years ago over to Android or iOS and you're thinking, man, I miss that BBM capability because maybe you don't want to run up your text messaging plan or you're sick of paying 20 bucks a month or 30 bucks a month for unlimited texting. Well, your day is here, my friends, because BBM is officially available on Android and on iOS, connecting you to either your BlackBerry friends or even people that are also running Android or iOS devices through BBM now. It's great on a couple of different fronts. One, it brings BBM over to different platforms, which is arguably one of the best features of BlackBerry to date, software features, I should say, of BlackBerry to date. Number two, it can cut down, like I said, on your text messaging plans if you have a lot of people that are either A, already on BBM, or perhaps B, people that are willing to switch to BBM and are currently on Android or iOS, and they're looking for an alternative method of communication to cut down on texting costs and the like. This is available officially through iOS and Android, the respective app stores. Play Store, you can see it right here. It's BBM by BlackBerry Limited. So point that out, or I wanna make a point to say that it's BlackBerry Limited because there were a lot of poser applications in Google Play prior to the official one launching. This is the official one right now. And you can see the screenshots and of course BlackBerry Limited with the period after it to signify that it's the official BlackBerry version. So let's go into here, for example, and take a look at BBM. And overall, functionally speaking, very similar to what you would see on BBM on BlackBerry 10. Now there's a lot to like about BBM, and actually we can click in here and you can see my image and a lot of the similar things we've seen from BBM in the past, details and updates. You can change your status from available to busy. You can even edit that message if you want to. And I can hit back here. So again, from a UI perspective, a look and feel perspective, very similar to what you would see on BlackBerry 10. And you even get a pin as well. My pin here is 7AE. 7613F, I have no friends, so hey, you watch the video, you love BBM, or perhaps you just wanna chat, let me know and follow me. Or I should say, shoot me a message. Shoot me a message, that sounded really formal. Shoot me a note after the video. So you can see the pins here, and if you remember old school BBM, you could tell by the pin what kind of device or what kind of network the device was running on. If you remember back in the day, pins that started with two were GSM BlackBerry devices, a pin that started with a three, was a CDMA BlackBerry device and a pen that started with a four was an IDEM BlackBerry device. So I'm not quite sure what numbering scheme they're using today or why they started with seven, but perhaps seven signifies the non BlackBerry devices, the Android and iOS devices that are running BBM. Just an interesting note there, I thought that was kind of cool. And you can see here chats, obviously I don't have anybody in my chat list right now, but again, from a UI perspective, very similar to BlackBerry 10 here, with the ability to swipe back and forth between your chats, and then of course contacts, groups, updates, and invites, and then same over here, I can go quickly into help, settings, I can invite somebody to BBM, I can start a chat, or I can send a broadcast message. Now over here in contacts as well, you've got a wealth of options to bring people in to BBM. You can invite by PIN, email, SMS, NFC, barcode scan, lots of different choices there. And of course, in traditional BBM style, you can add a group. So let's say I add phone dog staff or family or perhaps people that love BBM after you add me at the end of this video. I can add a group, I can enter a description, and I can allow people within that group to invite others. So again, old school BBM practices here still at play. So if you loved this application, I'd encourage you to take a look at it on Android or iOS and just see how BBM, hey, perhaps it's changed, obviously, from 07 to 13. So at the very least, you can see if you moved over to Android or iOS early in the game, you can see how BBM has changed from the years that you used it. So pretty cool to have this on Android and on iOS, a great alternative to text messaging, and it brings BBM into the fold on multiple platforms as well. So it brings one of the best features of BlackBerry 10 and for you know, BBM software in general over to Android and iOS with the options to do a lot of different awesome things that you would see in traditional BBM on BlackBerry 10. Keep it locked on phonedog.com for more on BBM. Just a quick look here at the BBM application on Android. I'm on Twitter at phone dog underscore Aaron. I'm on Facebook at facebook.com slash hi Aaron Baker. Let me know what you think of the new BBM. If it's something you think you'd use, maybe a text message alternative perhaps, or even you've got a bunch of friends on BBM. Existing people are still on BlackBerry. You want to use it to connect with your friends. Let me know if you'd use it. And if you do use it, or heck, even if you don't use it, tell me why you like it or don't like it. Twitter, phone dog underscore Aaron, Facebook, facebook.com slash hi Aaron Baker. Thanks for watching. More to come on BBM, on Android, and on iOS. I'll see you next time.